We're going to start. Uh, my name is Oscar Costero. I'm with Eric Borja from X Lab. Uh, we are doing this presentation. I'm going to put over here because I'm going to use all the space. Yeah, I like that. About the uh, Crossrock of Inclusion, revitalizing the US Latino editors in Wikipedia. Uh, and you can do a quick yeah, introduction. So. Yeah. Yeah, my name's Eric. Um, my pronouns are he, him, his. I currently live in Austin, Texas, but I grew up in Long Beach, California. My family's originally from El Salvador. Um, and I've been in the Wikipedia community for, I don't know, a little over a year now. Uh, Oscar was actually one of the first people I met in the Wiki community. And so yeah. it's been love at first sight, really. And it's been really amazing <laughs> to work with Oscar um, over the year to you know, work to revitalize the US Latino editing community. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I'm being a Wikipedian for almost 20 years. It is 19 years here. So, <laughs> but I also be, I also say that I'm beginners. Uh, seeing that I have been the beginner's mind, la mente del, del principiante, it is very important to be a Wikipedian because some, you're always learning something new. Uh, and right now I'm the Wikipedian in residence for X. But before that, I was a member of the Wikimedia Venezuela chapter. I work for the Wikimedia Foundation, so I'm being all around the place. Uh, and I'm really excited for this, this presentation because I saw this gag uh, in the past. I'm going to talk about Halibut, the yeah. gag gag. And I think this is a good segue to fill those gags that are really missing in our projects. Yeah. Great. And so I think uh, before we kind of dive into the work that we've been doing over the year, I wanted to share some research that Eki's Institute conducted that kind of led us into uh, the work that we're doing now on Wikipedia. Um, so a couple years ago, uh, we conducted a research project where we analyzed uh, basically 11 and a half million searches of 90,000 Latinos across two years. Um, the panel, it was panel data of 500,000 individuals and about 90,000 of those individuals identified as Hispanic. And so that's the uh, data that we analyzed. What we were trying to understand is how can we pre-bunk, debunk, and prevent misinformation especially misinformation that was targeting uh, US Latino community. And because we had so, much, so many searches to analyze, 11 and a half million is a lot, we organized those into three major categories. Uh, navigational, so these are searches that are related to like, how do I log into my email? Or how do I log into my online bank account? Uh, the other one was transactional, and this is like people searching for products like TV, TVs or microwaves. Um, and then the last category was informational. And so these are searches of folks looking for facts, how-to guides, um, news. And so, you know, what was surprising is that the majority of the searches were navigational and transactional. Uh, and so there was like a small fraction that was informational. And by small, I mean like 30%. It wasn't like tiny. Uh, but so this is where we really dug in because we really wanted to understand what are Latinos curious about? Uh, and then how are they searching? And then what are they finding? And so what we found was um, that we can understand sort of the shape of the Latino internet as what we, what we call these nine uh, search constellations. Um, these constellations are, re represent groups of topics that tend to lead users to certain sets of websites. For example, we have a constellation that's called music and gaming. Uh, that, that was about 37% of daily searches by Latinos. Another constellation was local living uh, that was about 26%, and uh, another one was popular culture and news, which was about 22%. Those were like the three largest constellations. And what we found is constellations provide insight into how Latinos seek information and where they go for answers. For instance, searches about voting or healthcare often land in the local living constellation, which includes resources like government websites, uh, but it also included surprisingly like Facebook groups, um, and people would end up on there looking for information about uh, local living or government issues. And so for Wikipedia, we found that Wikipedia is essentially one of the most important sites for Latinos when they're searching for information about voting, about the news, about history, about our heritage. Um, and it represented about 15% of daily searches um, ended up on Wikipedia, which was by far, the, or not by far, but it was the largest. For comparison, Facebook and YouTube are the other two major anchor sites and they represented about 14% of daily searches. YouTube was about 13%. And so we found, and in, in certain constellations, like in the popular culture and news constellation, 
Wikipedia represented about 26% of daily searches, uh, like destinations. Um, and for comparison, like the New York Times only represented less than 1%, and that's like one of the largest news websites on the internet. And so we've come to understand that Wikipedia is literally one of the most important sources of information for US Latinas. Um, and so that's kind of what we're focused on. And as Oscar mentioned, um, I work at Eki's Institute. He's our Wikipedia in residence there. And so before I go a little more into the work that we're doing, uh, I want to share a bit more about like who Eki's is. Um, and so Eki's, we focus on several key areas. Uh, one area is on research and data-driven insights. For example, the research that we did around search behavior uh, was one of those examples. And those findings then led us into building a program focused on uh, training Latino editors. Um, but other research we do is around uh, polling, focus groups, data analysis, really anything to help us better grasp the issues and challenges and aspirations that shape the experiences of Latinos. This research helps identify gaps in representation and inform strategies for fostering more accurate and inclusive narratives, both in civic engagement and broader public discourse. Um, another area of focus is our cultural strategy. This is about empowering Latinos to share our stories challenge stereotypes, and create narratives that reflect our rich, diverse experiences. And then finally, uh, media and technology. This is about uh, amplifying Latino voices and ensuring that we're represented in both traditional and digital media. And so how does this relate to Wikipedia? Um, it, this, is about, this is about building representation within the Wikipedia editing community as well as on the platform. Our initiative, I like to say, is like twofold. One, we're trying to recruit and train new Latino editors, but we are also trying to engage with the existing Wiki community. Um, and, we hope, and we deeply value the experience and dedication of Wikipedians who have shaped the platform over the years. By fostering dialogue and collaboration between new and veteran editors, we hope to strengthen Wikipedia's ability to serve as a reliable and inclusive source of information for all. Um, and part of why we focus also on Latinos, uh, just quickly, is uh, we represent nearly 20% of the population. As a community, we hold enormous potential to shape uh, the nation's cultural, economic, and political future. However, despite this growing influence, we remain significantly underrepresented in many of the spaces where critical narratives are formed, uh, such as like the media uh, and online platforms. This lack of visibility can distort public perceptions, leaving out rich, diverse stories of Latino communities and their contributions to the fabric of the nation. And so uh, we, we created these banners um, in partnership with Nicole Martinez Legran. She's the multicultural curator at the Indiana Historical Society. Um, and I'm sad to say I've never even learned any of these historical figures that are here in Indiana who've made great contributions. Um, and in the conversations we were having with Nicole, uh, we, also, we, we also were like, okay, are they on Wikipedia? And none of them had wiki articles. Um, and so we, that was what we did yesterday, yeah. was the mm -hmm. edit a thon. Um, where we were able to write these articles in both English and Spanish yeah. uh, for Feliciano, Maria, uh, for a couple others that are outside. Um, and, you know, for me, that's, that's like an example of the sort of stories that we're not learning. And for me, I'm kind of ashamed to say, like, I didn't know there was such a presence of Latinos in Indiana that we have been in Indiana uh, for over 100 years. Um, I didn't even realize that the Mexican territory reached all the way up this far um, until yesterday, or until like Thursday when Nicole showed us the map of Mexico's original territory. Um, and so these are sort of the, for me, these are examples of the information that we're missing, the stories that we're missing, that can really tell a more rich and interesting story about our country, um, and that could unite us in our heritage as Americans, as Latinos, um, and as migrants. <laughs> So, yeah. That's my as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think this is, this is mine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, talking about under, underrepresentation in Wikipedia, it is uh, a big understatement. It is, the gag is so big. Uh, we did an event uh, with New York City last week, and it was about salsa music, merengue, and bachata. Uh, and we found out that articles that are like anthems, like, a, like a songs, like a really, it is playing in every household in Latin America. Doesn't have even an article in Spanish. And you can find in the Spanish Wikipedia articles about Taylor Swift, about Madonna. <laughs> so the gag is so big that I was okay. We need to we need to work with this with this. 
uh, I was working back then in the Wikimedia Foundation, and I was doing something called the strategic movement, mostly focused in Latin America, but I was looking to see how Latinos editors in the US are behaving. And I didn't find much. I was looking at the Wiki project that right, right now we're trying to revitalize. revitalize. Um, and I was saying, well, what is, what is not Latinos in the Spanish Wikipedia? What is not like a community? What is not like people, essentially people participating in the project. Um, I said myself, well, I need to do something. I started to do like a mapping about the user groups that are currently in the United States, like Wikimedia New York City, Wikimedia DC, Wikipedia and Sogidiana. I tried to book like the map and trying to see like the names of people to see if there are like a Fernandez or a Gonzalez <laughs> that I got a last name and I can trying to reach out to them to see, well, what is exactly happening? And I've, I got a few answers like, okay, I am Latino, I have a Latino heritage, but uh, there is no like a, like an understanding. That's why I think the research I've done by X is like a good approximation that they're using the website, but they're not becoming editors. And that's why when I try to come in as a Wikipedia resident to say, let's try to solve that problem. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the current stack is that, like uh, there is a big under, under representation in articles, Topics, uh, you can name it every topic of uh, gastronomy, like a food, uh, baseball, music, every topic that you can sing about Latinos, it is missing in Wikipedia and the English and Spanish. It is. So the, the gag is so big. I was talking yesterday with Rossi for Women and Rec that I don't know how, because there are, I think, 18% of women articles, it was like the gag. I think in Latinos, like 5% of the gag, if you can measure gap or, in, or, or that big, <coughs> sorry. Uh, they're in complete historical narrative. Uh, so that makes like a barrier. Uh, I'm, I myself consider a migrant in this country. And you can see when you're working with migrants, the lack of information, it is really impactful in the way they live their life in this country. So lacking information in Wikipedia, that is a, like a, the reference source for everything that you do. And it is not representing the things that you do or the things that you're coming from for your country, it is really, in, it is really something missing that we need to try to fix. Um, yeah, the access of a community of people working together to fill this gap or like a task force or user group that we want to do. Mm -hmm. So that, that's where the role of Wikipedia or Wikimedia in resident because it's not only Wikipedia, it is Wikimedia Commons, it is Wikidata, it is a lot of the sister projects as well. We are going to, to support that, this community. We want to build this community with the people that are already there. And not necessarily people that Latino heritage, could be anyone, could be Richard Nippel that is part of the, is going to be part of the, of the wiki project as well, that wants to fill this gap. And we also want to train new editors. And that's another key issue that we face. Uh, we are dealing with the, English and Spanish, there are different projects. Translation tool is an issue. Uh, there is a few things that we need to solve. Um, there is a lot of things that most of our culture is oral culture. There is not a bunch of reference. So you need to go to another set of guidelines to see how the reference works in Wikipedia. Because sometimes you're not going to find something else. Again, back to the, Wiki, uh, the Wikipedia to the big that we did. Uh, we didn't find anything in the internet about these artists. So it is. You need to go back to newspapers in Re the Dominican Republic. You need to go back to some kind of knowledge that can be found, uh, can be good enough for Wikipedia. And it is difficult, but I think we up to the task. Yeah, and I think just to add a little bit on that, and I think for a lot of folks who probably work with marginalized communities or knowledge that isn't represented on Wiki, like finding sources has been a challenge. Uh, thankfully, you know, we've found some really nice librarians to help us. Uh, we've worked with partners like Afro Latino Forum and the International Salsa Museum for the editing to the beat editathon, uh, where they helped us find some of those sources uh, because they had that information already. Um, but it takes quite a bit of an effort yeah. to build that's, those partnerships. Yeah, that's why like LAM, Smithsonian is there. Yeah. <laughs> we, need, we need partners that, that are working with finding sources, librarians, that we are going, and really good to find these also secure sources pre-internet, like because it's, it is going to be like a challenge, and I think, yeah, it is important part of our task to find those sources, trying to gather good sources and having dug in Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so yeah, what we're doing, we're doing also like a repro series. It is about women help, health and abortion. We did our first event in Texas. It was in, right in the, in the border between Mexico and US in Brownsville. Um, the idea behind that, it was actually your partner, I think Andrea. Yeah, like he, he mentioned, she mentioned that the information about abortion laws in these states like Texas, Florida and others, it is so narrow in Spanish that you cannot find what is the, what is the current state of affairs, what is, uh, you, it is safe to have a carry on abortion, it is safe to do these things. And we wanted to bring that gap as well. Mm -hmm. So we have some information in English like that it is also missing. Yeah. But in Spanish, you don't have anything. You don't, don't even have like the article of abortion in Texas or abortion in Colorado or abortion in any other states. So we wanted, okay, let's dive tap into this. I know it is a sensitive issue, but uh, I don't know, I, may, I, may, I consider myself like I, we need to be like glass ceiling breaker things, and I think Latinos are up to that. Mm -hmm. So I said to this, okay, let's do this event, let's try to do this in Texas, that it is a bad run stake, and try to find the sources, because in the end, being part of a, being a Wikipedia, it is not like having like an opinion, the sources are going to have the opinion. And you are going to have like an different sources, different uh, challenges, and for example, for that event, we did uh, a few articles of the people that are actually against abortion, <laughs> and they are pushing the, their own agenda, and that's perfectly fine as a Wikipedian to do that because, again, it's the sources that we're going to contribute to Wikipedia. Yeah. And uh, can I just show something yeah. real quick? Yeah. So, so yeah. this picture here is from the editathon that we yeah, did yeah. in Brownsville. Uh, these were the editors that we trained. None of them had written, I don't think no. had, any of them had any experience editing. Um, so, you know, the we spent the morning, Oscar trained them on that, went over the policies of Wikipedia, like neutrality, sources, conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. um, and then they spent the rest of the day editing. And I think another thing I wanted to show was this, this is also another picture. Um, if y'all had a chance to come to our edit-a-thon yesterday, um, we had a screen printing workshop there and screen printing is a traditional form, art form in, across Latin America and Latinos here in the US. And these, these were some of our participants. What they're holding is a green bandana uh, where we printed this um, design that was made by a local artist in Brownsville. Um, and in the middle is uh, Rosie Jimenez. Uh, her article was in English on Wikipedia, uh, but it was a stub, essentially. Didn't really cover like her legacy and her life. Uh, Rosie is uh, essentially documented as the first woman to pass away from due to an unsafe abortion after the Hyde Amendment was passed in, 19, in the 1970s. Um, and she has a, a huge legacy in Texas. Uh, she's uh, citizen. She lived in South Texas in the Brownsville area, um, and there's also like legislation called Rosie's Law that some groups in Texas have been trying to pass through the Texas legislator, uh, but none of that was covered in Wikipedia. Um, and so during that edit-a-thon, we worked with um, the folks who are trying to pass that legislation, who do that work, who know her history and her family, uh, to like update her article in English, and then we translated it into Spanish. Um, and another example is uh, there wasn't even uh, an article in Spanish that, about abortion funds. So there's one in English, but there wasn't one in Spanish. And so those were like things that we did, uh, but we also like to incorporate elements of art um, into the edit thons that we do to have folks really embody the values and the, and the joy that we try to bring to this work. So I think sometimes it can feel really intimidating for people to make an edit, to learn how to navigate Wikipedia uh, but we try to make it like as fun as possible mm -hmm. <laughs> while also yeah. teaching them everything. Yeah, so yeah, I was mentioning the editing to the big. Uh, we did a uh, week in New York City. Uh, we want to do again another one in Re the Dominican Republic, which Harry here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we want to also, another gap that we want to bring is the gap with Latinos in the US and people in Latin America. Uh, we were speaking yesterday with the folk from Mexico that they want to do things with the U.S., but it is a complicated issue, <laughs> as you can imagine, between the U.S., between Latin America, a lot of, a lot of complication issues, I can say. Yeah. But we want to bring that gap, and we want to do things with Latin America together. Uh, hopefully, we can have this conference, because this is a quickie conference in North America, having somewhere in Mexico, somewhere in the future, or somewhere in the... <laughs> we can do that. Uh, or, yeah, working together, um, 
that's that's important to us to also uh, to have this kind of event. Uh, we have an upcoming Wiki Edu course of Latin poetry. It's going to be in a launch, I think, next year. Yeah. So yeah, we are going to for late January. Yeah, we are yeah. aiming for next year. Uh, we want to also to have like a like another kind of a structure. We are trying to do a lot of things, uh, probably at once, and we're going to fail in a, a bunch of that. Okay, this is part of the our philosophy, our wiki philosophy, to try to see what is working, try to see what is not working, and try again. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah, we're developing the new wiki, wiki projects, both in English and Spanish, called Wikipedia Latinos, and you go. Go to the other one. Yeah, but before we do that, I yeah. just wanted to share a little more about the Wiki EDU course. Yeah. Um, so that one's also in partnership with the Library of America. Uh, they just published an anthology of Latino poetry. Um, and I think there's about 180 poets in the book, and only 50% of them have articles on Wikipedia. Um, and so like that's the kind of gaps that we're trying to close. Uh, and we see that as an opportunity. I think like for us, uh, poetry and music, for a community like um, Latinos and communities across Latin America, these aren't just forms of cultural expression, but they are also our history. They're our archives. They tell our story, and, and these, it's why, that's why it's important for us to focus on music and poetry. Um, these aren't just entertainment. It's, it's our culture. It's our heritage. Mm -hmm. It's our history, and that's what we're trying to represent. Um, and I just wanted to show, like, in this picture, um, this was a band that we... Uh, brought to our editathon in New York, editing to the beat. Uh, Aurora, who's the uh, woman in the blue hair right here on the right, uh, she's a lead singer, but also she's a historian, a journalist. Um, and so we were actually able to work with her to like play the music and then stop every so often and explain like the history of the music. Uh, we, we had the editathon in the Bronx in New York, and the Bronx is critical to the history of this music and the development of it here in the U.S. And so she went through all the different uh, genres, like merengue, plena, um, salsa, bachata, and explained the origins and the history and connected it to like the space that we were in. And then uh, we kicked off the event that way, both to bring in the energy, but also to share with the uh, Wikipedians that we had in the room uh, the history that we're trying to capture and the stories that we're trying to tell um, with, on Wikipedia. Yeah. Anyway. Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, Dr. X was here. Yeah, too. and another thing about this, uh, this is a band member that actually have, we didn't know about this, <laughs> and this actually have a, a wiki article in the English Wikipedia. Um, yeah. It was part of one of the foundational Kingston, Plymouth Rock bands of Latin America called the Funny All Stars. And yeah. I was okay, so like amazed that we have this band. We didn't know about a duck. Um, one of the members like, okay, really important. Probably All much the of these members it, yeah. could be like a wiki article. <laughs> Aurora probably, I don't know. Aurora, definitely. Because they have so much, so much, like, yeah, like. Impact. Impact yeah. that we can, uh, starting to measure, essentially. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think you okay, mentioned yeah. the, that we're in, trying to incorporate. I've uh, been doing editatons for more, more than a decade. And I know that the format is a little bit boring. As a Wikipedian, I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to move for that. Not only have people editing in, in, in the... In, it is good to have the edits, but also to try to incorporate something new. And that's why we're pitching ideas to have it uh, like a live band, having like a sprinting activity. I have in my mind the gastronomic, the gastronomic in the... Latin America and the Latin in the U.S. is not only tacos. There is a bunch of food, Peruvian, <laughs> Venezuelan. There is a Venezuelan, by the way, was in the in the presentation that we can probably do like an editaton on food, have a chef inside and having like a, I don't know, tasting a lot of foods of the continent. That would be really nice to have. Yeah. And yeah, we're trying to also move a little bit the needle in how to do an editaton difference. And this is yeah, this is what we need. Uh, yeah. Sources, we mentioned those, that we need better and many sources beyond the internet. Uh, we need partners to spread the word. Not only, again, not only Latinos. We're looking for everyone that like, yeah. can fill that gap. If you're living in a, in a city in this country, there's probably a orga Latino organization there that you can reach, and we can more happy to help you yeah. reach out the voice. Uh, Recruiting and retention, we're trying to, yeah, uh, having 
new contributors, and this is obviously like a big gap or big thing that we need to do as a movement to find new volunteers, all age, uh, having essentially in this case Latino editors, obviously, uh, be part of the of the movement, mm -hmm. and trying to uh, try to have a bridge the language barrier between English and Spanish, trying to navigate the problems with the with the translation tool, having something set up in the middle to people to contribute in Spanish and English without all the hassle that uh, constitute having, having, yeah, having to do like a translation in the projects. Yeah. yeah, and because our community is bilingual, we, man, we run all our edit-a-thons as bilingual edit-a-thons. So we have like live interpretation for everybody that attends. Um, and then we edit articles in English and in Spanish. Uh, one example of an issue we ran into was um, at the Texas Editathon, not everyone had created their wiki accounts before arriving. And so, you know, we hit that limit on the, on the IP address. Um, but we were able, it's like sometimes we were able to create accounts in Spanish, but then we weren't able to create in English. And then someone had a, an account on Spanish wiki, but then got logged out when they go to their English wiki. So it was a really interesting experience trying to navigate both wikis. Um, and as I've been learning, you know, for me as a user for so long, I never, understood that these language wikis are separate wikis, you know, and that they're governed in, in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. as an editor, I've now come to realize those things. Yeah. There are so. totally different communities, yeah. as Spanish as English, uh, some more complicated than others. But uh, we're trying to do the same wiki project in both, mm -hmm. uh, trying to have like, the gap in both. And also, we can act also Portuguese, by the way. Like, yeah. They are, they, we, in the leading to the big, we have a Someone from Brazil that like, was doing edits about uh, okay. capoeira and other yeah. other kind of music. So we are definitely trying to reach out not only Spanish but also Portuguese speakers yeah. and French in Haiti as well. Yeah, we talked about Haitian Creole. Uh, French, yeah, uh, we're tr but yeah, it is again difficult. We are trying to challenge or turn around 20 years the Wiki project that we face, the Lat uh, Wiki Wikipedia Latinos. It has been around for almost 20 years, I, I think. But I think the last edit in the wiki project was like 2011. So it was basically inactive as much of the wiki project. So we're trying to build that. But our goal, our main goal is to have the user work ready for next year. Um, go back in time and say, okay, the funda foundational stone, the way we started start in this is was in the wiki conference in Indianapolis. That's why we are starting this to have a, yeah, like a music group of people working towards this guy. And you are well, more welcome to join. If you can scan this code, you can join our effort in Wikipedia Latinos. This is a, the wiki project that we have. Uh, you are going to receive a, lot, a bunch of message for me, probably <laughs> having, because we are going to have a list of articles to do, a list of things that we can, we can fill. So yeah, you are more welcome to join. Yeah. And I have another one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I will give a little, little yeah, time I'll for people to, folks, yeah. to have it. It is a phrase that I think Aurora mentioned that uh, and I stuck with me the whole time that she mentions, she was the band leader and the historian. She mentioned that our story is yet to tell, meaning that, yeah, our story is yet to tell and in Wikipedia more, more so. And we need the, the people, we need the motivation, we need the Wikipedians, we need the institutions, we need everyone to fill this gap and to have a presence in Wikipedia, both in English, Spanish, Portuguese, so on, and we're just starting. Yeah, well, great. Thank yeah. you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> and I think we have questions for the audience. Yeah, we had a couple <laughs> questions, uh, but we're also more than happy to answer yeah. any questions that y'all have. Um, I think like these are two kind of big questions yeah. we continue to wrestle with, uh, and like every, everybody across the movement is wrestling with. Yeah. This is a good one. Do you have any topic in mind that we should consider editing? Because mm -hmm. there are so many topics and sometimes we battle through to see what, what the topic that we want to do. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like there's a couple mics if anyone wants to. Yeah. Chris. I'll take notes, Oscar. Yeah. Hello. 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 Thank you so much for your presentation. Um, I wanted to just make uh, two quick, I think,
questions for the both of you, uh, which was, I think one, there was an earlier presentation yesterday from the women in religion, uh, sorry, women in religion user group. And uh, one aspect of their work was uh, working alongside with uh, authors in that kind of knowledge domain and uh, publishers, because uh, like, uh, as, as mentioned in this presentation, they also were facing a lot of issues around, we can't find secondary sources on the topics we wanna write about or that need to be kind of better understood. So I wondered, um, do you kind of have any interest and sort of um, uh, inclination towards like mobilizing your group to actually help create secondary sources in this topic area. Okay, I think yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. but like uh, like an editorial or something like that, or something different. Books or Books? Yeah. Okay. things of that nature. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. well, I don't know. A kiss book. I I would love to have <laughs> like a, something like that. A book. I don't. I don't. I, I went. I heard about that presentation book I went in there. Mm -hmm. You can connect with them as well. I'm, I'm going to be meeting with them later today okay. to learn a little bit more about how they went about doing this because it's a rather yeah. kind of unique kind of work in the movement that I think is really yeah. interesting and has a lot of potential for challenges like these. So I will circle back. With yeah, you circle back, please. Yeah. Once I learn more. Uh, the second thing I wanted to ask was just about um, I know that you know there's a goal to kind of form as a user group in the future, but just wanted to also offer that if um, there is a funding need for any work that you're looking to do, um, rapid funds are definitely available to yeah. individuals and folks who want to do events in your user group. So please feel free to yeah. come chat with me if that would be of interest at some point between yeah, you, now and later. You, you missed my introduction. I was I, I used did. to work in the Wikimedia <laughs> Foundation. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so but people know me more as a volunteer here. That's mm -hmm. a good thing, I, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I, I definitely want to reach out because you're the North American person, right? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Definitely, definitely want to reach out to you. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, and I think on the sources part, I think that's why, um, you know, it's taken a bit of effort to like reach out to folks. Like we, that's why we were happy we were able to meet with Marti uh, Nicole Martinez Legrand, who's like the multicultural mm -hmm. curator at the Indiana Historical Society. Um, I had no idea she had just published a book. So I think to your point, like there's that gap both on like the sources side and on Wikipedia. Uh, but I think like the experts are there. It's like we just got to like tap into the knowledge. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So. In, on Sorry. terms of the sources, um, that great presentation, by the way, really seriously. Oh, thank you you thank have you. a you have a new member. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I uh, think we have and a... I think actually my my <laughs> so my, my particular campus and, and CUNY is a Hispanic. Uh, you know, we've just been designated a Hispanic institution. So I think, uh, and we have a Casa de las Americas, a new house that's been built, an institute. So I think that they might be very interested in joining this. Um, so more on that but yeah. on the sources this is a this is a huge deal and it yeah. has to do with what you were saying earlier about i don't know what to call it but the the break between you know north and s the rest of america right yeah. it's like there's like the border mm -hmm. I mean, there may not be a wall but when it comes to you know publishing it is, it is there's a definitely a wall in publishing right so, <laughs> they're so trying stuff, to build a wall so yeah wall. That, so the stuff that is published in latin america which is huge right yeah. never gets to it never comes here and vice versa you know you go to Latin America and it's hard for, for them to find stuff that we, for us would be like I just go to Amazon you know and get it so I know this sounds really kind of like crazy and like long-term-ish but I would suggest a trip to either Madrid or Buenos Aires which are the major publishing places that have gigantic bookstores that will have all of the books that you will ever need they will be in Spanish right but you can just like organize a, a book buying trip you know and yeah. to like, like I said these are like the two major hubs of publishing in Latin America um, Buenos Aires is not that far away but on yeah. not that far away, right? Mm -hmm. And just go, <laughs> literally go to bookstores and buy the books that you're going to need and then probably scan them and, you know, we pirate. Yes, we shouldn't be doing that, but it's, <laughs> it's the only way, you know, right? Sometimes. Uh, to, to, yeah, you put it on Google, move on with your life. That's, I am seriously suggesting this. And then you will have yeah. 
reliable, good sources by, by people who have been working on it for a long time. It's just that they, they're yeah. editing them in Latin America, yeah. right, or in Spain, and they never get here. Like, literally, they never get here. Yeah. That's so, a great point. Yeah. That's a great point. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, thank you for that. Uh, yeah. I, I, was, I was assuming that after the editing to the big, you were part of the group. But <laughs> now you're telling me you're part of the group. No, now official, official. Uh, Doug, sometimes they are not given in bookstores. That's a problem. Sometimes they are only in newspaper from that era. So you need to go back to institutions like universities, colleges. So yeah, it is an effort, concerted effort. We are trying to partner also with Argentina. Wikimedia Argentina yeah. is the bigger, yeah, the, is the bigger chapter in Latin America. Uh, Ana Torres worked there for many years, and we are uh, speaking with her to, yeah, to try to do that. Yeah. yeah, probably in the future. Yeah, I love the idea of a book trip. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I love the field trip idea actually. Yeah. Uh, but um, I also have a question, maybe a comment about the sources. I am uh, a native, I'm from Brazil, but I've been in the, in the US for a while and I'm a Wikimedia in residence at PAM, the Perez Art Museum in Miami, Florida. Uh, and I, you know, I face many of the ch challenges that you, you guys pose here. And thinking about the sources, which is just, you know, the references are the major thing for the, the articles and the lives to be told. And I think my, I, maybe something that I've been doing and I would love to share, but probably you've done it, is just keeping a log of all the culturally specific institutions, especially in the US, and spending to, expanding to you know, academic programs in Latinx and gender and sexuality studies and thinking about the professors because they do have the sources. Mm -hmm. And also, they not only include the topic in their you know, disciplines and coursework, but also the students, they've been writing amazing, amazing papers about those artists that, you know, you, you, may, you can't imagine, you know, the wealth of knowledge that has been circulating in academic mm -hmm. projects, but also, you know, been thinking about with Pam on actually writing and commissioning essays from not mm. just graduate students, but the scholars themselves, so we can create the secondary sources because it's impossible. I've been writing about, you know, Caribbean artists, Latinx, especially Brazilians in, in the US, mm -hmm. all the folks in the Pam collection, and my <laughs> articles have been tagged with Oh, you're lacking secondary sources. Yeah. And yeah. it's just, okay, yeah, sure. But, you know, trying to find ways to, you know, mitigate that problem. So going back to the scholars and go up, absolutely go into the community, yeah. but especially for the references. So, yeah, that's, yeah. You know, I love the idea of commissioning, like, yeah. essays. So. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And I love the presentations. Very exciting. You yeah. Know, yeah. There's no wiki group in my in Miami and you know. Ah, well, Miami, yeah. we're going next. We're going to be in Miami next week. Please so, come, yeah. where? Yeah. Yeah, no, we can next, talk uh, next, next week. week. Yeah, next Saturday. <laughs> next week. I'll, I'll be there. there. Yeah, I'll, I might I'm be I'm going there, to reach so. out with you. I think you work with Jake as well. I am. Yeah, so Jake. So let's yeah. make the connection here because, yes. well, first of all, uh, the first editathon in Brownsville I did to Yuena Tecuna, mm -hmm. that article. Yeah. Uh, so the lack of, yeah, I know the, about the lack of courses in Brazil because yeah. of the, I was also involved with the Yanomami, trying to reach out to sources of people that live in the Amazonas. Mm -hmm. oh, um, I think the only on, 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 tribus not contacted us. Or yeah, tribus, yeah. I don't know. Or, yeah. yeah, I have some, you know, I have a network there too. I, we, I work with many of the visual artists in that community. Mm -hmm. Just a couple of, you know, I am into the visual arts, so, I can, you know, connect you with some yeah. folks, but mostly in, in moving image, you know, cinema, mm -hmm. indigenous yeah. cinema there. Very cool. Well, yeah. Okay, so let's connect. There's some great materials, you know, they have their own, you know, ra the, the RAS libraries, mm -hmm. um, which is fantastic. Okay. Anyway, yeah, yeah let's thanks, connect. Thank you. that was amazing. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lori Bridges, and I'm a librarian at Oregon State University, so I'm in, and um, I have a lot of faculty and others we can work with uh, in the Spanish department. But I also wanted to um, let you know that I'm one of the coordinators of the newer Wikimedia campaign that's Every Book Its Reader, and it happens in April. So I'm one of five librarians that coordinates it. The other two are in Mexico and the other two are in Brazil. Oh, and really? last year they were so excited because they had much more um, participation than they had expected in both countries. And I was thinking we, maybe we could do a banner for every book it's reader in the Spanish Wikipedia, but only target the folks um, 
who are looking at Spanish Wikipedia in the US. Mm -hmm. I think we could do yeah. that. Yeah, That'd be I think we can do that. Yeah. yeah. So. If we don't get in trouble. <laughs> <We're good. laughs> I love Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. More questions? More? Awesome. OK. Oh, yeah. I have one. <laughs> Hi, uh, I work for Wikimedia Canada, so we have the English and French uh, Wikipedia, and we have, not tensions, but like sometimes we have questions about like reliable sources on French Wikipedia, mm -hmm. or like sometimes different than uh, English Wikipedia, and like what is considered good sources. And like in French Wikipedia, it's often have to be like a national newspaper or something, mm -hmm. but in Canada, it's like we work with provinces and territories. So a national newspaper in French, won't, like it won't be a thing. We, like it will be more likely like a Quebec newspaper, but it might not be seen as an acceptable source. And I was wondering, like, I know you have, I mean, I, I'm from France originally. So like, I know like, I'm guessing like the Spanish Wikipedia, you might have like people from Spain, you might have people from Mexico, yeah. you have people, like a lot of different uh, Spanish countries, uh, like Spanish speaking countries. And I was wondering if you had also issues within the, the, the Spanish Wikipedia about like what is ac acceptable and like yeah. if something might oh. be like a good source in one country, but not like not seen as a good source yeah. from another country. And yeah, I know it's a, yeah, no, I it hope is. It's clear. <laughs> it is yeah. clear. Yeah. It is totally clear. In in a Spanish Wikipedia, it happens all the time. Uh, the bigger, well, the bigger community is from Spain, so they are not going to know someone from the Amazonas, for example. <laughs> they are going to post to the Lycium. <laughs> they are going to ask, okay, this is important and not important, even if they have a sources. I have a. In Venezuela, I, well, I'm an economist, that's my background, and I used to do articles about renowned economists from Venezuela. Um, there is uh, the Academy of Science uh, that are giving like open seats for individuals. It's going to be like a, it's like the Nobel Prize for, for economics in Venezuela. And one of those members actually got the, the seat, one economist that was a teacher uh, in my university. So I go to Wikipedia, create the article, have the one source about his being part of this Nobel Prize for Venezuela for economics, really nice. And <laughs> someone from Spain, they leaked the article. <laughs> like, no, like, okay, this is not important, this is not relevant. Like, only 10 people are important in this country, not important. So it is an issue. We are trying to battle that issue. It, it is an issue in all the movement. Uh, but I think, yeah, we can start to measure that as well. Yeah. Because we are working and this is a good segue. We are working to also have metrics, like metrics about where the gaps are, mm -hmm. and where deletion is happening, or yeah. where articles have been more deleted or not. So, and I think we need our help because we need people that gather in the wiki data or all those things that can help us. Okay, measure us or having like a map of what is the current situation. Yeah. Yeah, and then another issue with facing with the sources is when we translate the articles from English to Spanish, for example, all the sources are English. And so, yeah. of course, like Spanish wiki, that's not super accessible and not really aligned with their policies. And so no, that's been is. also a, a challenge because like there's not going to be that many Spanish sources about a really niche US topic or something. Um, and so like that's another like source issue we've been facing. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's like, yeah. Yeah. They feel your pain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then like, and there are a lot of like local newspapers that we've been also finding out that like were Spanish language or were written by the local Latino community. But I think to your point, you know, it's more like the national or regional newspapers that are seen as valid sources not like some of these like smaller community print papers so yeah it's been it's been an interesting challenge but yeah kind of fun too so. yeah kind of fun to do <laughs> so cool. let's back to the to the qr code yeah and then let's I think... please join we keep it latinos spanish english we can probably have it in french and in 
Portuguese as well. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. To have the Latinos, yeah. Uh, um, please come around um, because we are looking for partners. Yeah. Not only Latinos to work together in the future. Yeah. So thank you, everybody, for coming. Yeah, thank you, everybody.